It's the king. Rachel, make them stop. Stop fighting, everyone! That's enough. Here's the king. We're safe. I welcome you, Uncle. Let him go. Release him. And you are doing this in my name, is that it, Milo? He refused to pay the taxes. That isn't true. You asked us for 30 of our men to act as a personal guard, and we simply refused you. That's why he attacked us. What are you thinking? Do you take his word or mine? His word, Milo. This isn't the first time you've lied, but it's the last for me. You've exceeded your limits of authority. He's the liar, Pantione. Be careful, Milo. Until now, I've been too lenient with you out of respect for the memory of my brother. Now, even your father would surely disapprove. You're being unjust. I forbid you to impose personal wishes on my people. I was acting in your interest. That's enough, Milo. I exile you from my kingdom. That is my decision. Hercules. Send for Hercules. Murdered. The king's been killed! He's dead! We've got to tell him what Milo has done, and that he must go and warn the princess. Isn't it better go ourselves? It would be faster. The people hate Milo, but they love the king. I think it's better you go. Meanwhile, I'll alert the others. You'll find him on the Hellespont, on the hill, where he's constructing a great temple to the honor of Hera. Mm -hmm. All right. Go. Be quick.
I was waiting for you, my son. You have fulfilled your dreams completely. So far, only one obstacle has been removed from my goal. The biggest one, the king. There's still his daughter, Ati, and the people. According to the laws of Mycenae, Ati needs a husband before ascending to the throne. You, in the meantime, act as regent, and you'll be able to change her destiny. With her, it will be easy. She surely loves me. I've been a brother to her for years. And her confidence in my judgment has no limits. But not with the people. The people hate me. The people will bow down because with this you'll have more power. It's your weapon, Mila. No, not now. When your enemies surround you, then let the blade show them its power.
have murdered our king. I saw you kill him, and you'll pay for your crime. Silence that man. Seize him. You won't get away with it. Our people will avenge their king. Death to the assassin. It was Cordio who killed our king. Milo ordered him to do it. What's going on out there? I don't understand. Why are they all yelling? I want to see what it no, is. No, Artie. You mustn't go out there. But why not? Martha, what is it? Is anything wrong with my father? <laughs> Stronger than us, Milo. Let's get out of here. No, don't move. <laughs> I don't think that the people will have the courage to contest your regency. I don't think so either, since I'm the late king's beloved nephew. <laughs> Artie. trying to accuse me of this murder. He'll pay for his crime, Artie. And for your unhappiness. I swear it. In all my life, I've never witnessed a more frightening spectacle. 
seven creatures whose strength has no limits. Their skin has the color of gold. They're indestructible. They fight without weapons, using their bare hands as if they had a hundred. In fact, they're called a hundred hands. Like giants who really do have a hundred hands. Do you know anything about them? Yes. They must be the seven sons of Jaya. It's an evil story, my friend. It's one of the most powerful enchantments ever to come out of Olympus. Did you happen to notice if Milo had a dagger? Yes, he did, a gold dagger. When he put it back in its sheath, they all disappeared. Ah, yes, of course. Pasiphae is a witch of great power if she has managed to get the dagger of Jaya. Unfortunately, Jaya is Juno's sister, and she is angry with me for certain family reasons. With you helping us, Hercules, we can beat those golden men. I hope so. It won't be easy. They are invulnerable. They can kill you, and you can't even wound them. It's true. Our arrows and swords bounced right off their bodies. Or they broke in pieces. There's nothing you can do. Any weapon is useless against those monsters. Adi's life will be in danger, Hercules. Now calm down, my friend. I'm not afraid of the hundred hands. But before I have to do anything, I want to see things clearly. Then you don't believe that it was Milo who killed King Pantione. But you told me it was Gordio. Yes, Gordio. He was ordered by Milo. What are you thinking about, Hercules? Why so pensive? I was thinking. If Milo, as you say, has committed a crime, why doesn't he attempt to take over the throne? And why doesn't he oppose the marriage of Ati? Do you mean why didn't he suspend the tournament? Exactly. He has a perfect excuse to do so. The death of the king. And he hasn't done it. Ati is expected to marry the victim. And he will get the throne. Is that it? Yes, that's it. I think so. But I'd like to find out what Milo has in mind now. Abadu, the Assyrian prince. They say he fights with a terrible weapon, an iron ball with sharp protruding spikes that's fastened to a chain. Are you trying to make me afraid? I'm only trying to help you. I plan for you to win. For your benevolence toward me, I won't disillusion you. It's not benevolence. It's strategy. If you are the one to be Artie's husband, I can go on ruling through you. Do you really have that much faith in Gordio? None at all. That's Abadur. The coach of Abadur, my noble friend, is solid gold. All gold. All gold. In his fortunate homeland, gold is abundant to the point that they make dishes and sauces out of it for everyday usage. For everyone? Uh-huh. And even those large round chamber pots, you know the ones, are made mostly of pure gold. Those are gold? Mm -hmm. oh, if he wins, he'll give a golden cup to every single Greek citizen. May Jove help him win. Uh, my respects, my noble friend. May the gods soon give us the pleasure of meeting again as we met today. <laughs> I'm serious. Now perhaps you understand why I want Gordio to win. Not because I think he's loyal. Because he's not loved by the people, nor by the soldiers. Unless I've misunderstood, you plan to have Gordio and Atti involved in a fatal accident without anyone asking you to account for it. I would certainly not attempt to kill the king of Athens, the tyrant of Crete, or the warriors of Prince Abadur. Truly your wisdom, Milo, gives you the right to reign. Thank you, Rachel. You put that nicely. After the victory, Gordio in his glory will ride around the arena in the winner's chariot drawn by the white horses. And Artie will stand next to him. When they pass under here... What's it over there? Were you ever here in Mycenae? Yes, I was a friend of Pandione. Last time I was here, Artie was a baby. And Milo, a little more than a boy. But nobody bothered about him then. Well, now you'll see with your own eyes how much he's changed. We told you the truth. The truth has many faces. 
but justice is different. I know just how much I had to pay for not being more comprehensive. You, Hercules? Yes, me. I remember the time when, in a fit of rage, I threw a feeder from the wall of Dorintus. My father made me pay for that. Joe punished you? Yes, and for two long years, he deprived me of my strength. Incredible. I can't figure it out. Well, look at me. I remain strong as a man is strong, but no longer as a god. But why? My superhuman strength is a gift from Joe, and I must put it to good use. Otherwise, it is only just that it should be taken away. It should be honored to have so many illustrious suitors. I'm not, Milo. I would rather the victory went to no one at all. Oh, Archie, please. Your father wished it, and you have to obey as I obeyed him myself. You know very well all this was planned long before he... Yes, I know. But my heart wants only to weep alone and mourn. I don't want either a husband or the throne. And you, Milo, could govern my Cine better than any stranger could. You are good and generous. You are forgetting all those who are against me, Artie. Who would be delighted for the chance to say that Milo opposes your marriage in order to stay in power. I don't know. It could be true. We can get in here. What's behind the wall? There's a garden, but there aren't any soldiers. But the palace has got it. Very poorly. Tonight, it's just the same as any house in Mycena. But here's the palace hero. If they catch us on there. Nothing of the sort. Auntie would release us to celebrate the wedding. Let's hope so. Come on. Here. 
get back here. Get back that dagger. Thinking monkey. Forget about it. There's so much here to steal. But that dagger's solid gold. Ball, stop it. Look here. This is solid silver and it's heavy. Is yours, Prince Zapador. Who challenges the Prince Abador? Gordio of Mycenae. If my adversary intends to fight on his chariot, it's against the rules. That is his choice of weapons, Abador. You can withdraw if you prefer to. I'll meet your challenge with this, Gordio. You'll need it. Ha. 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 You should not allow it. The man on the chariot is a murderer. Didn't you hear his name? It's Gordio. Gordio, the man who killed the king. And now, Hercules, do you still have doubts? Hurry up, quickly. Careful. Throw me the sack. Be quiet. Over here.
Giorgio. If nobody challenges you, victory is yours. Who challenges Gordio of Mycenae? I do. I challenge Gordio of Mycenae. In case you are unaware, the tournament is not open to plebeians. No, Rita, one moment. It's Hercules. I am not a prince, but my father is much more than a king. Therefore, I have the right to challenge him. I know who your father is, Hercules. But the throne of Mycenae is a small thing for the real son of Jove. In fact, I don't fight to conquer it for myself, but so that it won't pass into the hands of a scoundrel. Above all, one unworthy of you, Atti, if your beauty is a reflection of your soul. All right, go on. Your weapon, Hercules? Weapons? He has enough for both of us. I'll make you pay for this insult at the risk of enraging Jove, the father of all the gods. <sighs> has no people or even military forces behind him. But he's the son of Joe. Oh, his father is on Mount Olympus. <laughs> Who challenges Hercules? Hercules, you have won. The victor's chariot!
Why did Hercules come here? Someone must have sent for him. It must have been Euristeo. The magic dagger. It's disappeared. It's been stolen. Come. I don't want you to be frightened, Atti. But I feel it's my duty to warn you about certain people. Sometimes when accidents happen, one should look for what might have been the cause of it. What do you suspect, Hercules? That the door might not have come down by accident? It was a strange coincidence that the door happened to fall just when the chariot was passing underneath. <laughs> I was still a baby when a bridge I was standing on suddenly collapsed under me. It was old and rotten, but even then everyone made conjectures. And there were those who were suspicious of Milo, ignoring the fact that Milo was the one who rescued me. Milo? Yes, risking his own life. I'll always be grateful to him. enemies without ever knowing it, without ever having harmed anyone. Hercules, what's all that noise? Wait right here. I'll go and see. Far away. Let's go find it. I need a stronger weapon against Hercules. You are more powerful because you're my son. 
And Hercules is the son of Jove. That isn't the disadvantage against you. Jove demands his son fight in the name of justice. You instead are able to use any means you wish. Craft, deceit, treachery and murder if necessary. When my father was still living, Milo had a lot of enemies because he obeyed father's orders so zealously. Only for that? Certainly. Hercules, why must you always be so doubtful about Milo? Did your father respect Aristeo? Yes. He was a devoted subject for years. But he was offended when my father refused to let him marry me. Who told you this? Your father of Milo? Milo? But why shouldn't I believe it's true? Hercules, I have an idea that you have been told many stories that are false. Perhaps. On the other hand, I'm grateful to whoever tried to deceive me. What do you mean? If I hadn't come to Mycenae, I would never have met you. And my life would have ended in the arena. I went down into the arena to take you away from Gorio, whom I judged unworthy of you and of the throne of Mycenae. And now, Atti, I would fight against anyone who tried to take you away from me. No one would do that. They'd better not try. I was waiting for you. I thought one of you would show up sooner or later. But he still is worried because he hasn't had news of actually. Speak up! Don't be afraid. I won't harm you. I'm not afraid. That's better for you. All you have to do is answer my questions. And I'll be able to save your life. Do you know Hercules? Why? Just answer the question. Do you? We're very good friends. And I'm sorry for you. I won't be able to save you. Sleeping, I'll put them to sleep forever. I want their heads. Bring them here at once and I'll kill the fools with my bare hands. Milo. They've kidnapped Artie. Kidnapped? Who has kidnapped her? I can't imagine who could possibly want to kidnap her. Can you? Milo. I've ordered out the guards. They're not far behind the rebels. You shouldn't have let them escape in the first place. They were all taken by surprise. They're all cowards. Here's our travel leader. We killed him. Narione. You know him? Yes. He's Aristeo's brother. You were right. But I swear to you, Milo, this will be the end of Aristeo. I don't know. I want Artie. Bring her here at once. It'll be better for you. Before I go and look for her myself. But isn't Artie in my scene, eh? What are you talking about?
Come on. What have you done? What's the meaning of this? Where is Ati? Where are you holding her prisoner? Hercules, have you gone mad, old friend? Talk, talk! I don't know anything about Artie. <laughs> you liar! Hercules, why did you do that? You know I'm your friend. I'm Aristotle. You're, You're a liar! <laughs> Aristotle. Aristotle. Friend, tell me why you fought me. Hercules. Hercules, you have killed an innocent man. Father. Set your trap well, and Hercules has fallen into it. He's helpless now. Yes, he understands. He's been tricked, and he knows it. Yes, but much too late. Now he'll come to you thirsting for revenge. Go, Milo, get back ahead of Hercules. And don't be afraid of his anger, because once again, his father is going to punish him for his injustice. But you see, Hercules doesn't know this. His rage will be impotent against you. At last, this is your triumph. You will be the strongest, Milo. I've always thought of you as a brother. And I've always put my faith in you. Please tell me what wrong I have done you. What have I done? You're the direct descendant of the late king. You were in my way. I had to get rid of you, and now the throne is mine. What you're saying is ridiculous. I was more than willing to renounce the throne in your favor, and you know it. But the people would never have allowed it. And you'd have ended up going along with their will. Alive, you represent a symbol for that. An ideal that I have to kill. Then kill me now. Hurry up or Hercules will prevent you. He isn't able to do anything. Now I'm the strongest and I'll be alone to command. My Mycenae will oh. soon be mine. I will reign. And this will only be the beginning. Who 
let you in here? This is it. Milo! Where are you, Milo? You're the most despicable person on Earth. I want him alive. Seize him. Hercules is only a little stronger than you are now. Arrest him. I've told you that together you are much stronger than he is. Why do you wait? Move in on him. Move in. Go on, take him. See, Jove has taken his strength away. He's no longer a demigod. Go on. From now on, I rule my scene. Get him out of here. among us with criminal intentions, pretending to be Hercules. He is an imposter. I unmasked him, destroying the plans he made with a woman unworthy of her rank. He will receive the treatment he deserves. Hercules is the son of Jove, and he who assumes the name of his son is trying to claim a divine descent which is false. Now his blasphemy will be severely punished. Just what is this farce all about? Don't be too impatient. But Archie's crime is no less grave than his. Obsessed with passion for this man, she wouldn't have hesitated to marry him knowing full well a fraud would inherit the throne of Mycenae. You know what you're trying to do is get rid of Artie and me. No, stranger. You'll get the treatment you deserve. Hercules, the real Hercules, is endowed with exceptional strength. A strength without limits. You will have to show your strength. And if you are the real Hercules, you won't let Artie be killed by those blades of iron. This will be our way of discovering the truth. If by chance you are an imposter, she'll be put to death in exactly the same moment you are. You will die together. You can begin. Listen to us. 
Adi, our queen is in very grave danger. What? What? Milo is killing her. We gotta help you, our queen. Let's storm the palace. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't stop. Closer, I'll kill her. Stop right there. No. Hercules is following you, but my son, the dagger of Jael will save you. But, Mother, he stole my dagger. He banned it. 
Fire does not destroy what is created of fire. Go back, Hercules, or you'll never get out of here alive. Where are you, Ati? Ati! get far.
I'm coming. You've taken my son from me, so I've taken Artie. Let me pass. You can't save her now. And above all, my noble friend, with a team like Hercules, we shall have the added advantage of having no more thieves in my scene. Really? Certainly. When everybody has enough to eat and drink, no one needs to steal any more. That's right. <laughs> May the gods protect you, my noble friend. I hope we meet again very soon. Thank you, thank you. Long live Hercules! I did all right, eh? You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> 